What do you say we get this in a cocktail? Let's do it. Let's do it. We got too much in this bottle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we probably shouldn't shouldn't tell Chandler that I got a whole ass loaf of banana bread to take home with me. <laughs> Let's make haste while the glass still has a little bit of frost yes. on it. Cheers, sir. Cheers. The Von Payne Old Fashioned. Yes. The Smells Von good. Payne Reserved yes. Old Fashioned. Wow. There's a, okay, so there's a little bit of a, a nuttiness to it, but maybe that's coming from the mm. chocolate bitters. Maybe. Because on the finish, you can taste the chocolate bitters. Yep. But this thing, you figured out how to really zero in on the old-fashioned and make the, the spirit of choice shine. So I'm really glad that you took the uh, the, the savor the burn old-fashioned mm -hmm. and put this in it because um, you, can, you can taste it shine. Yeah, this is tasty. Mm-hmm. Yes, this is a this is a this is an incredible cocktail. There's almost a hint of black licorice that that comes around, right? And and usually I'm not a fan of that, but it works well in this. So maybe going back to the tasting, what I was getting confused between a grassy note and a floral note mm -hmm. was a botanical note, and the botanical note speaks. Or speaks to me as uh, what you just called the black licorice. Hmm. Licorice. Still don't know how to pronounce that. Licorice. <laughs> That's beautiful. You even got some of the frost on the glass. Mm -hmm. So, on the nose on this thing, I know it's a cocktail, but it's still got to smell nice. It does. You know, yep. and, and this definitely, this smells great. You've got the bourbon in there. You've got your your bitters. You can you can smell the two different bitters you got in there. You got the orange, and the Aztec chocolate. Yeah, and yeah, just uh, you know trial and error. And as we've kind of been trying to fine tune these things, I that's kind of become my go to. Is um, you know when it comes to like tonight, I you know I'm I'm mixing up two at once, mm -hmm. so I'm doubling everything. But my bitters are always a two to one ratio. For an old fashioned, two part chocolate bitters to one part orange bitters. Okay. <clears throat> one of the best decisions that I still am excited about is we serve our simple syrups out of a skull. <laughs> and that's pretty fucking metal. And then you put the 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 reserve black box behind it mm -hmm. and the bottle and mm -hmm. and the the skull tops bar spoon. And our the skull skewer stick mm -hmm. for the cocktail garnish of that barrel aged bada bang cherry dehydrated orange. That that's what we mean by the savor the burn style old fashioned. We use the dehydrated orange slice. We use the the Woodford Reserve barrel aged cherries, and um, really between that and the uh, and the bitters used, you just you can't make a better cocktail. And this goes for lesser bourbons, Jim Beam White Label. I'll say it. You step it up, you know. You know, three hundred percent, and get the Jim Beam Black Label. That extra aged. <laughs> um, I think the best old fashioned I had was made with uh, Angel's Envy. Mm -hmm. um, I had that at the that Angel's uh, Envy, the mm -hmm. the Naughty Pine in uh, Raytown one night. Naughty. It was after Carlo's friend. Uh, well, he's my friend too, I guess. Actually, he's technically now my my brother as far as Freemasons go. Uh, he got his first degree. Um, that night, and um, I said, uh, "Our beard chugging friend Lloyd." Yes, Lloyd Leon Kerr Leon. the Third. <laughs> yeah, so I was there for his uh, his first degree, his initiation into uh, the Freemasons. And um, afterwards, we we went out for a drink. I bought him a, a drink or two, played some pool up at the uh, the Naughty Pine in Raytown. And uh, the bartender, she made us some some old fashions out of some uh, Angel's Envy, and I was like. Very happy with it. You got numbers? I got numbers. Do you got numbers? I got numbers. You're still kind of working on your numbers. Well, math. What'd you give it on the nose? I gave it a four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Not bad. I gave it a four and a half. It had plenty to say on the nose. Yes, Not it just did. the citrusy and chocolatey notes from the bitters. Because... The bitters have an aromatic um, thing going on for them. It just smelled great. You could smell the bourbon in there. You, you 
and since you know all the this garnish was up on the top, you can kind of pick up some of that that cherry. That just gives you a, a preview as to mm-hmm, what's coming mm-hmm, mm-hmm. after the cocktail's over. And on the palate, I gave it a four and a half. I gave it a four and a half. I'll be damned. How about the finish? I stayed in step with four and a half. So did I. On the presentation, you know me. You made it. I gave it a five. <laughs> and I always appreciate that. Yeah. And, and now, I don't mean it to brown nose or suck up. You always make them look better than they do on the websites. I gave mine a four and three quarters because you know me. Yeah. You're the world's toughest critic. Yeah. On, and, as, you'll never find a harsher critic than yourself on your own work. So on mm. on on my math it totaled up to nine and a quarter. Right on. Mine was an even nine. Nine point oh. That's a good cocktail. That is a good cocktail. Mighty fine and rare. Here in a couple of months, you won't even be able to make this. Yeah. Because they're not it's just not <laughs> gonna be available. We were um you know, it's that time of year, so you know, company Christmas parties, holiday mm-hmm. parties, whatever. The company I work for always does our holiday party uh, during during the day. Uh, I, I think that's their way of ensuring that everyone is required to be there because it's okay. during work hours. Okay. Um, we had ours, you know, a week ago, a uh, week before Christmas, on a Wednesday, you know, noon to four. In the afternoon, so it included, uh, you know, an all a buffet lunch type thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was at uh, main event in, okay. in Olathe, and then afterwards, everyone got a. It was unlimited play for three hours mm. uh, card. So I mean, you could go over to all the machines and you could just you oh could, that kind of play right, right. All okay. the, the arcade games. You you you. The cards were set up to where you could play unlimited all you want for those three hours. You did not get any, you know, like ski ball. Mm -hmm. You did not get tickets, which at first I was like, you know, whatever. But I played two games of ski ball and I was bummed because part of ski ball is Mm -hmm. watching the the tickets roll out of the machine. And and then I just moved on. I did. I did manage to get the uh, the high score in the Pac Man game. Okay. They had like one of those like jumbotron uh, Pac Man games. Oh wow! There where I mean, it's like like the dot matrix pattern, but it's it's a it's a wall of Pac Man. Wow. And yeah, I I got the high score on the machine by a long shot. Anyway, I haven't where, been in there in a long time. Where I was going with the story was. Uh, our friend Ashley mm-hmm. went to the bar and ordered an old fashioned, mm-hmm. and she came walking over, and I'm like, "What is that?" And she's like, "It's an old fashioned." I was like, "That's an old fashioned," and she's like, <laughs> "Yeah." Oh man, <laughs> and what did they make it with? Do you remember? I have no idea. Okay, it was not a five though. It was, I mean, it was probably a disappointment. <laughs> it it wasn't even a two. Wow, really? I mean, it was it, it was the same ice that they they you know serve your soda and it's just regular you know, just ice and mm-hmm. there was no garnet. I think there was a cherry in it, but that was it. And uh, yeah, she's like, "Yeah, this is not underwhelming." She's like, "This isn't good," and I'm like, "It doesn't look good." Yeah, I, I made it a. I didn't make it a point to, but when I saw them, I couldn't help but tell them. That um, every time uh, she and Ben, you know, post something cute together on on <laughs> on social media, I can't help but think th- they're the cutest fucking couple ever, and it makes me sick. <laughs> so I hit this, I smash the heart button on it. <laughs> <laughs> and he owns his, he runs his own business, <laughs> at least with the uh, the recording aspect of it. <laughs> I forgot what his day job is, but oh, he's a. Um Delivering the pharmaceuticals to businesses. Okay. Okay. Your aspirins and cough drops and... So he's a drug runner. He's a drug runner. Drug runner by day, recording engineer by night. Metal bassist by weekend. Yeah, and he's a metal bass player. He kind of checks all the boxes. I mean, he's just an all-around good fucking dude. And I don't know... I mean, I think he's a big deal. He is a fucking big deal. Yeah, he's he's a three-namer. Axel Harvey Productions. That's his old. <laughs> that's his old name. No, Benjamin Axel Harvey. He's a three namer. And for we're a guy, have, that's a big deal. We're gonna have to for tag women, him now, aren't we? 
probably yeah 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 <laughs> yeah so like if you're a guy and you're a three namer it it's not pretentious as or as pretentious as it is if you're a, a, a woman with it with three names like my sister my sister angie angie colina mcneil she's a three namer I don't care sounds like it. she's a big deal she's a big deal she is my sister she can't help but be a big deal bless her heart <laughs> actually she quit drinking uh last january she, did she make it to the show she did okay. yeah she was actually awesome hanging out behind you with jennifer in the merch booth oh okay yeah yes yeah you were busy busy i mean you had you had family and friends and like you were non-stop go 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 that was a fun night for you. It was Plenty a fun of drinks night. coming your way. There was the Janelle cinnamon whiskey addition to your uh, to your Jameson. Woo! Yikes! That's a no <laughs> thanks for me. And while we were on break, I went upstairs and I went into the bathroom. <laughs> and you son of a bitch! <laughs> I thought you were in there pinching one off. And <laughs> no, <snorted>. you. <laughs> You were in there redecorating my bathroom with yes. Saver the Bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went on. I went. I was looking for um, when uh, when you sent me the new design, so I could get the the shower curtain for uh, my as my backdrop for the. Uh, you for went the all in for the Flavier <laughs> calendar thing. Um, I, I also saw custom bath mats, bathroom. You know, like the toilet seat cover. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The 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 mat in front of the toilet and the and the mat in front of the sink um like the three piece bathroom set or whatever the fuck it's called i saw that as an option i was like i wonder if this design will fit yes it does it sure <laughs> fuck does. yeah if you, if you crop it down enough yeah it, it works just fine so I, I was like fuck it it's like it's a a 20 dollar gamble this could be cool this could be really fucking dumb i think it's a little bit of both so <laughs> As I was as I was putting it on the on the toilet seat or whatever, because I, I you didn't see it, but like I walked in, I had it stuffed under my jacket. Like no, I didn't shirt, see it jacket, at all because I was carrying that box and I was holding it high because the the points were like sticking out like nipples. So I had to hold it up high. I'm like, excuse me, trying to come through with this big box. And in, in the no, box. I I did notice. You know, usually you know you stop. We have a little bit of conversation yeah. with the family right there. Yeah, in the, ran downstairs, in the kitchen. dropped off the box, and I'm like, all right, yeah. You had a box in hand, so I'm like, he's gonna drop his stuff off. He'll yeah. be, he'll come back up, and then you came mm-hmm. back up, and you're like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> and then he's like, man, he's he's in there a minute. All right, uh-huh. thank thank goodness I cleaned it because. <laughs> I think he's dropping a deuce. <laughs> yeah, and to go, and to go really bad. But yeah, if you were doing any listening, there was no noise except for maybe the sink running because I was like, I gotta make it sound like I was doing something in here. <laughs> so my hands have to be kind of wet when I come yeah. out. So thank you for that. Yeah, yeah. And so like I was just waiting for you to hurry up and go pee, and finally you did. And I'm like, uh, and at that point Henry was like doing this breakdance circle thing in your in your floor. <laughs> and I'm like, shh, listen, listen. He's like, what? I'm like, listen to your dad. Let, we'll just wait for it. And so, like, all we hear is like, um. And I was like, oh, he saw it. You were like, um. Well, yeah, I, I open, I open the, the door, and and you know, Katie's sitting up there working on the computer. She's she's working on you know <laughs> Christmas cards and and mm-hmm. and all kinds of stuff. And I'm just like, did you what? The, what the hell? <laughs> and and then out of the corner of my eye, you see my head poke around the corner. I see you kind of bent down, just kind of looking around the corner from upstairs in the kitchen. And I was just like, "No, nope, you, it's you." <laughs> yeah. And then it dawned on me, you did not poop. <laughs> no, I did not poop. I was taking that extra time to try to get the thing shimmied on the toilet seat lid. So I've got a save for the burn uh, yeah. toilet seat cover, mm-hmm. uh, the little rug in front of the toilet, mm-hmm. and then the the rug in front of the. Yeah. the sink. Which I just I didn't I didn't know what to do with your with the rug that was already in oh. there. So I just left it there and just sat it on top of it. I'm like, ah, fuck it. He's gonna see it. He's gonna think it's great. So, it's all black on black. So. Yeah, if, if you take that, <laughs> you can take it out immediately if you want. Just put it in there for when you have company. Savor the burn company. <laughs> or um, uh, 
like at your birthday party. Right. That would have been great. Because oh, everybody's man. using that bathroom. They'd see it and go like, what the fuck? Let's and savor the burn. Everybody would talk about it. I just know it. So is this a podcast where you guys um, go, um, I think I taste uh, caramel. I and, taste um, the caramel and the toffee. And, hmm, smells like vanilla and apple. This is apple pie that was delivered today from our real estate agent. Huh. Every, yeah, because you guys are about to be on the hunt. I guess you're on the hunt now, huh? Are you looking at spring? Spring, summer, yeah. Depending on uh, if we get everything done that we want to. This is really good. Where'd it come from? I knew you were going to ask that. <laughs> and I meant to make a point to look at the sticker on the on the uh, yellow something bakery. Uh, yellow. Okay. I'm not, yeah, I don't remember. But our uh, real estate agent that worked with us and had us find this home. We've stayed in contact every year around mm-hmm. the holidays. They always do cookies or pies. <clears throat> Usually, they do like a like a get together and have invite everyone over for a, a little party, and then you, as you're leaving, you take your cookies or pies home with you. And, and if you can't make it to that, then they deliver them. And today was that said delivery day. Mm. I mean, it's no banana bread. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. But it's definitely not, you know, Katie's banana bread. <laughs> it reminds me, um, every time I send something to my son in the um, Air Force, mm-hmm. you know, on base, anytime I send him anything, I always include a little bit of banana bread. <laughs> Just because of that video he sent me, you know, years ago now. Banana bread at work, dude? Hell yeah. <laughs> mm. Speaking of, mm-hmm. I keep meaning to ask, now that he has settled into the Georgia area uh, around base, has he gone out and hunted for Blanton's or Eagle Rare or anything That's else? That's a good question. I have not asked him. Hmm. He, he's he been spending most of his time. Unfortunately, he wrecked his motorcycle and broke his thumb. Mm. It's like it took it and moved it back. Like... <laughs> You know, like you're fucking pulling the bolt Ow. back on a bolt yep. action rifle. And uh, so he had to have surgery to get that back in place. Wrapped his hand in his cast for, uh, I said a cask. He wrapped his hand in a cast. Did you say boy? <laughs> boy, I said boy. <laughs> yeah, for about six weeks. Now he's got it off and he seems to be, you know, gaining mobility again. I guess he lost 30 mm. pounds because he just didn't spend time in the gym um, probably, you know, muscle mass because he was busy working out, trying to bulk up, and you know, probably just wasn't eating much because it was so difficult to. You know, do I have thing. an extra thirty pounds that I'll gladly <laughs> give him if he needs. Girl, oh. same <laughs> <laughs> as we as we share apple pie and wiki and wiki, but um, wiki. so uh, on top of all that, he bought a house, <laughs> and um, so he's getting ready to get moved to a new base, Moody base a uh, little maybe a couple hours south of uh robbins so hopefully it's not too area. far away from where he just bought a house right yeah right he just he bought, oh, the, he house. bought the house next to his new base yeah yeah it's within gotcha. like half hour drive or something excellent so he's 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 really excited it's his first house and he's gonna have his girlfriend from colorado and her two kids move into the house with him so he does not know what he's getting into. He does not fucking <laughs> Life know. is about to change. It's he has no idea. But um yeah, he's he's got a what did you do what did you what are you doing? Apparently if you touch this photo <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> I had no idea. I didn't either. <laughs> yeah, so we're on the vonpain.com website and um there's a, a guy sitting in a chair with a bar behind him, with a bottle of vest uh, and reserve jacket on the table and next to him, and has you, rings and hand tattoos. Yeah, hair slicked back, but then you touch it. You touch it, and he turns into the gargoyle. That's p- kind of badass. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that coming. I was wondering, like, what it. the hell did you do, Mister Fucking Wizard Fingers over here? Hey, that's what I do. <laughs> He's got magic hands, Mama. <laughs> ah, He's a magic man little heart for you <laughs> cold and late nights so long ago when i was not so strong you know 
I'm a Hart fan. Nothing I think wrong. Nancy Nothing Wilson wrong wrote some of the some of the most iconic fucking guitar riffs you've ever mm-hmm. heard. Anyway, so he's got a new house. He has no idea what he's in for, but um, he's nervous. He's excited. I told him expect something to go wrong. Mm-hmm. That way, when it does go wrong, you're not like completely surprised by it. Oh my god, something went wrong. But his girlfriend Faith or fiance now Faith is she's a she's a sweet kid, and I hope nothing but the best for him. The both of them. She better take care of my baby boy, because he. That's all he wants to do is take care of her. Cool beans. Yep. So, do you have any closing thoughts on this um, Von Payne Reserve? Besides, I like it. <laughs> do you think it's worth one hundred and seventy, including all the shipping and all that? That's a really good question. Because I think it was one hundred and fifty. It's just or one hundred and sixty or something. So like I. Based on, my, always extra. based on my rating, based on what, what I thought about the nose, palette, finish, yeah, I think the pricing makes sense for what it is. Mm-hmm. This is their first batch of a cask strength bourbon, not just a infused whiskey. Right. Batch um, number one. So it, it's one. And, you know, I, and I'm not necessarily saying a bourbon is greater than a whiskey i might but i kind of am yeah you know i'm not saying yeah. it but, but i kind of it. but i'm saying it <laughs> b- b- because you know and 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 each has their own place mm-hmm. there are a lot of whiskeys that i love for v- really specific reasons mm-hmm. i also love bourbons for very specific reasons yeah but the thing is with a to classify it as a bourbon means you've done a few steps extra yep than just it being just uh yeah instead of just saying you know what fuck it let's make this it's a whiskey that it is what it is Mm -hmm. if you've gone that those extra steps to make it a bourbon there's more effort involved yeah. with it. So, like you said in the beginning, it has to be new charred oak. It has new to be charred. at least a fifty-one percent corn mashed bill. Yep. It has to be no no extra artificial flavorings, no, no artificial coloring. Colors, yeah, yeah. It's cask strength. So, it is. so they haven't watered. They've not only not watered it down mm-hmm. it is straight from the the barrel yeah but and we mathed it, it out to be what 10 but it's barrels? super it, right it's super limited yeah mm-hmm. we we mathed it out to super where limited yeah 1919 bottles yeah at best came out to nine and a, just a little bit over nine and a half barrels yeah so 10 barrels worth that is a super, super, super low yeah. batch, and so for one hundred sixty dollars, that sounds like a a high price tag. But it's their first batch, mm-hmm. so so that right there kind of commands a little bit of a premium. Yeah, and then like like we said, this is a bourbon versus their whiskey infused. Mm-hmm. Yeah, offering from they're, from they're before in black. Yeah. We don't have an age statement, so there is so it's, it, there's no aging to add to the mix. But you know th- th- that's okay. Th- that's not necessarily a bad thing. We have had numerous things that have had no age statement. We, we've had things that have had a one or two year age statement that were that were great. That Balcones Rye I, we keep talking about over and over again. Yeah. It had a one-year age statement. I mean, for crying out loud, part of me thinks, why bother even putting an age statement on it if it's only one year old? Right. <laughs> Just let it be NAS and and at least reap the benefit of the unknown. <laughs> and so, but because of that, we went into that almost completely dismissing it. Right. Right. And we loved it. It loved had it. so much unique flavors mm-hmm. that are, that offer with it. So anyway, all that to say, there's no age statement. Not a bad thing. That's mm-hmm. I'm I'm per- perfectly fine with that. But you get the the heavy metal gargoyle pour mm-hmm. spout. You get the super unique heavy glass um, bottle. 
And then you get the great box that is lined yep. with linen. It's got the magnetic door on the side of it. It has the uh, dense foam covered in black velvet felt mm-hmm. um, on there to, to hold the bottle in place. It's a great product. And so all that to say, long way around, I think it makes sense. Yeah. Maybe a little higher than most people would be willing to pay, but yeah. I think they price it smartly. I think it's okay. Yeah, <clears throat> with as much intention, with attention to intention that they put on the rest of their products. You know what though? Yeah, <clears throat> at one hundred and sixty dollars a bottle, and it being that limited, it's going to afford them to do a batch two and a batch three. I hope and down I the really road. Do. So. Because it's as much as they're pumping out that Von Payne Black, yeah. I really hope that they continue to expand their product yep. line. Yep. That if they come out with a rye, I'm spending another 160 bucks. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. I don't care. That'd be but, pretty awesome. You know, it's for the podcast, right? Science. It's for science. <laughs>